Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to create a source box using HTML and CSS. So I'll use different types of styling and I'll use the hover effects and all and make it look really very really awesome. And I'll show you guys how to create the source bar using different icons. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because that's what helps me grow. The first thing you have to do is to create a folder. Let me name that folder box and open it to it live server. Sorry, open it to Visual Studio Code first. Okay, now this is the box folder and here we are going to create a file first using name index.html html So the first thing here we are going to do is to change the name of the title We are going to give it name source box The next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a div in the body and give this div a class name box the next thing we are going to do is to create an input for the placeholder <clears throat> text then sorry type text and we are going to give it name in the placeholder we are going to write type to type to search we're going to give this input a class name. Class name which will be text txt. Now we're going to use an anchor tag here in the div. So we'll give this anchor tag a class which will be button btn. Okay, the next thing we have to do is to make a different file for styling our sheet, which will be style.css. And on the style of the CSS, first thing we're going to style our body using margin zero, margin zero, then padding, padding zero, background, background blue. Now let's save this. Let's go live first. Live on our server, okay, not on Instagram or Facebook. Okay, this is how it looks. Oh, I did a mistake here. I haven't linked my CSS file with the HTML file. So for that, let me first link our link our CSS file. Link style.css. Okay, this is how it looks like now. We have got the source bar here and the background is blue. Now let's go to the style.css again and here we are going to style our box. For that we are going to use Position absolute, then top 50%, top 50%, then left 50%, left 50%. Then we are going to use transform, translate, transform, translate minus 50%. Like we have to use minus 50% here. If we use 50, only 50% will not work because it will, what do you say, contradict the above top and left. Now the next thing we have to do is to use background here background color for our box so background will be brown then we're going to use height which will be 40 pixel then we're going to use border radius border radius will be 40 pixel 40 pixel. border radius border radius is actually the curve of the border like the curve of the circumference of the shape we are using we're using padding here which will be 10 pixel now let's first let's first watch this. This is how it looks like now. It's it is it's now in the center. We have got the box which is brown color, and we have got the placeholder here where it's written type to source, and we can type anything here to source. So the next thing we have to add is our icon, the source icon. So for that we're going to font awesome. Let me first copy the link. Copy the link for the icons that we're going to use. This is the link, we're going to copy it and paste it in our HTML file right here. So we have added the file link, we have added the font awesome link and now, now we are going to use the what is it, the icons. Say I'm going to use the source icon. These are the source icons, we're going to use this first.
So this is the link for this icon and we're going to paste it in our anchor tag. Okay, now let's save this and you can see we have got this source icon here in our div. So the next thing we have to do is to style. So for that we're going to style the CSS again and here we're going to style the button first. So for the button we're going to use color which will be blue. Then we're going to use float. Float will be right so that it gets directly to the right side. Then we're going to use width which will be 40 pixel and we're going to use height which will be 40 pixel then we're going to use border radius border radius which will be 50 percent then background the background color for this button the background will be brown then we're going to use display which will be flex then justify content center then align items align items center and okay let's save this and what's it how it looks like okay this is how it looks like now it is coming to the center but we have got a underline here so to remove that underline we're going to write text decoration none let's save this okay we can see the underline is removed the icon looks fine here, but the thing is we haven't styled this box yet. So to style the box, we are again going to the style CSS and here we're going to write dot txt and use border, which will be none. We're going to use background. Background we're going to use is none. So next is float hoods will be left, like we want it on the left side. Next is padding, sorry, padding which will be zero, then we're going to use color which will be white, then font size, font size 16 pixel, then transition, we're going to use 0.4 seconds, then we're going to give it a line height, line height which will be 40 pixel so that it comes to the center text comes to the center then we're going to give it the width which will be 240 pixel okay now let's save this and okay you can see everything looks fine now like the borders that we have got in the text box got removed and now it looks good it's transparent we are seeing the background color brown here and we can type anything we want here Now we are going to use a uh, use hover effect on this button, on the search button. So for the lid, I will make this with zero first. After making it zero, we can see that it looks like this. So when we move our mouse cursor here, it will expand and give us the source box. So for that, we are going to style.css again and we are going to use the hover effect. So we'll use the hover effect right below the box. So here we are going to use dot box, dot box, hover dot box hover and we are going to use dot txt so here we are going to give the width we give it the first time which was 240 pixel w y d t which was 240 which was 240 pixel then we are going to give it a padding uh, padding which will be 0 and 6 pixel let me first save this Okay, now we can see this, we have got the hover effect here. Okay, now it looks fine, it's got the hover effect, you can see. We can put our mouse cursor here and type anything we want to source. And here is the source icon. Now the thing is, we are going to style this source icon again. So for that we are going to use dot box hover. And now we are going to use dot btn for the button. So for the button we are going to use, uh, what is the background color. We're going to use the background which will be white. Okay, now let's save this and okay now we can see this button has got this icon has got this background color which is white. So now you can source anything you want here and this is the source icon. Now one thing we have used transition in the box but we have not used transition in this button. So for that we're going to use transition. 
we are going to use transition in btn so here we are going to use transition which will be same as before that was 0 0.4 seconds let's save this and yeah this looks fine now we just got the transition on both uh, elements like so now you can search anything you want here and you are ready to go you are if you click here you can source what you have typed okay now the reason we used six pixel here like this is from the top and this is from right so we use padding right six pixel because if we type anything in the search box you can see we have got a small space right here between this what are you saying the icon and the text box but if we don't use this six pixel here let me show you first this if we don't use this six pixel here and you can see we don't have the space here so to make it look good we have used a six pixel from padding six pixel from right to make it look good and now you can see we have got this beautiful space here which looks which looks great so that's how that's how a source box is created using html and css i hope you guys like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you again